The surprise resignation by Georgia GOP Senator Johnny Isakson, Wednesday morning not only creates one more U.S. Senate race next year, but raises the odds on Democrats overturning the present 53-47 seat majority Republicans hold in the upper house of Congress, several strong Democrats already had lined up to take on Georgia's Republican Sen. David Perdue, who is up for re-election in 2020. Now, any of them could simply switch to the special election that is expected to be called to fill Isaacson's seat after his resignation becomes official on December 31, 2019. Among the Democratic hopefuls mentioned for the soon-to-be-open seat are former state Sen. Jace Carter, grandson of former President Jimmy Carter and himself the 2014 Democratic nominee for governor, and John Ossoff, who lost a nationally watched special election for Congress in Georgia's 6th District two years ago. Stacey Abrams, who lost the much-disputed risk for governor last year, quickly took herself out of the forthcoming special election but vowed to help Democrats pick both seats in the Peach State. At this point, it is uncertain whom Republican Governor Brian Kemp will appoint to Isaacson's seat in December. The three-termer Isaacson, 74, has been battling Parkinson's disease for the last several years. John Dietze is chief political columnist and White House correspondent for Newsmax. For more of his reports go here now. Let's lock ads. Why?